Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about rod sleeves or rod jackets. They're basically these sleeves that go over your rod and over your guides, and it helps protect those guides and also the rods themselves. Now, I just recently started using these, and I wanna talk about some of the pros and cons that I found when using these rod sleeves. Now, when you get to the end of this video, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to our channel where we put out fishing tips on a daily basis to help you catch more fish. Now, as far as these rod sleeves go, they're all pretty much made very similar. They're sort of this nylon material. As you can see, it's a woven nylon material and it stretches. So it'll actually stretch over the guides on your rod and help protect them. So really no brand in particular that I'm talking about here. Uh, pretty much any type that is that nylon woven material. So as far as the main purpose behind using these and also some of the pros that I found when using these rod sleeves is that they obviously protect your rod and protect the guides. So if you're transporting your rods in your uh, car or truck and it's a very uh, tight space, if you don't have these sleeves on, what's going to happen is as you're taking your rod in and out of your vehicle, you can run the risk of your guides, uh, you know, catching on your seats or your seat belts or anything you might have in your vehicle. So that definitely helps out because as you can see, just slides right over anything that may be in the way uh, with that nylon mesh material on there. So definitely a pro uh, there. Also, it helps keep your rods from tangling up on each other. Because if you have multiple rods together, usually what will happen is, you know, the lines will start wrapping around the guides on the other rods and that it can get tangled up and you can also damage the guides on your rods if they are tangled up with your line. And also you can damage your line. You may get a little nick on your line that you may not know about when your rods got tangled up. So can definitely help avoid that issue as well. And then lastly, what these can help avoid is your rods getting, you know, nicked or chipped by something that may uh, bump into them. Uh, again, if you're putting them in and out of your vehicle, some of these newer higher end rods that are made out of, you know, carbon or something like that, if they get a little nick on them, you may not even notice it until you go to make a cast or set the hook on a fish, that rod will basically blow up or crack and break. So that can definitely help out with that if something sharp hits it that uh, material that the rod sleeve is made out of is going to take most of the force and most of the impact and it'll help protect the rods a little better than if they were just exposed to whatever may bump into them. Now as far as some of the cons or something that I found that I don't like about them too much is you have to be very careful when putting these on. Some of these will have a strap that goes around your reel which helps keep this in place. If you buy these and they're too short for your rod what's gonna happen is you're gonna put a lot of pressure as you're pulling and securing that uh, sleeve on your rod. It will put a lot of pressure on your rod tip. And I've actually broken a few rod tips in the past from just pulling down too hard on these sleeves. They don't have to be tight. They just have to be secure. So keep that in mind when you are putting them on your rods, because if, again, if you put too much pressure pulling down on them, you could actually damage the rod tip. So just be aware of that. Also, this material is very attractive to hooks. So if you have any treble hooks or any hooks that come in contact with, uh, with this material, they will most likely get snagged on there and it can be tough to get them out. It will usually tear up that nylon as you're trying to get them out. So just be cautious of that. What I typically do will take my lures off when I put these rod sleeves on and just tie a knot, you know, tie my leader, or tie my lawn, uh, line to the reel. Then when I get out there on the water, I could just tie the lure on. So again, make sure those hooks stay away from this material because it will catch and damage them. So that was really only the two bad things that I found about these. Again, they will protect your investment. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a $50 rod or a six or $700 rod you wanna make them last. So I'd highly recommend getting some of these rod sleeves. They can definitely help. They're not that expensive. They, depending on where you get them from, they're anywhere from five, six, seven, eight bucks. And we actually do sell some on our shop page. So if you are interested, you can go check that out at shop.saltstrong.com. And if you happen to be one of our insider members, you do get 20% off. And if you're not a member, definitely missing out on some really good deals. So be sure to look into that. 
So that will pretty much wrap up this video on these rod sleeves, some of the pros and cons uh, with them. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Also, we'd like to know your feedback. If you do use these on your rods, whether it be good feedback or bad, definitely let us know down below. Till next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.